Grayson starts off the game by giving it to their big running back number 23 as he is setting a tone that this game will be physical all game long. And on fourth down, Grayson gives it to Prince and he gets into the end zone. And now Grayson has a lead in the GFL championship. On the ensuing kickoff, look at this message that Grayson is sending. It is a big hit. South Gwinnett recovers the ball, but they are letting the number one team in the state know that they have come to play. And then Grayson's D-line, all game long, physical, attacking to the ball. All the men running to the ball, playing a flawless game. As Grayson now has the football, they are looking to put more points on the scoreboard. Here again, look at the O-line, clearing up holes that you can put a bust through as number 23 gets into the secondary. Then here on the following play, they give it to number four. Again, the O-line has to be credited with the play of their, with their play all game long. As number four gets the ball, he is down to the 20-yard line. On the following play, they go to Prince, their speedster. He gets outside, gives him a couple moves, get in the end zone, and right now, Grayson is looking to run away with this championship. On their next possession, they ran the ball successfully. Now they're going to the air against probably the best secondary in the state, and it is a heck of an effort by the receiver as he comes down with the ball. Then later on in the drive, they give the number one, and the Grayson Rams have knocked off the number one team in the state as they win the GFL Championship. All right, guys, it is Alex with Born to Compete, the number one source for youth sports, and the GFL Championship has been everything we expected to be. Coach, congratulations on your win. Tell me about the game. It, it was everything we thought it would be. We prepared for this. I got the best darn coaching staff in Gwinnett County, and I'm, I'm just really proud of these gentlemen right here, these cheerleaders, this community right here. This is what it's all about. All right, let me ask another question. Y'all can make some noise, that's fine. <laughs> All right, second question I gotta ask, man. I watched a D-line today play an offensive line that they consider one of the best lines in the state, obviously with Sequoia, but your D-line dominated. Tell me about the uh, play of your D-line. All starts with the coaching. I wanna tell you, Coach Cotter made these guys, they've been, uh, all the coaches through the community from six years old on through the high school. And the high school really supports us and our technique and what, how we perform. And uh, Coach Cotter and uh, the defensive staff just got them ready. Just just rabid dogs. <laughs> so they, and we, we, that's how we coach. We, we practice very hard. We still do full contact. And we want the game to be easy. We want the game to be fun. All right, I know we had talked about that earlier. And last question, Coach. And I'm, I'm sitting here looking at this crowd right here. I don't know if we can see them on camera or not, but you got a crowd. They're, they're filling up this half of the track right here. Tell me how it feels. This is your last go around with these boys now. This is the last time you'll see them, at least uh, eighth graders, before they hit the high school mostly. Tell me about, I guess, that feeling, man, because this, this is the last one here. How's it feel? It's, you know what? I follow the, I'm going to follow them all the way through high school. They'll see me out there with the, the high school coaches. Uh, it won't be the end. I'm looking forward to seeing them in high school when they play. Uh, it's it's going to be a great experience. Like I said, this is community football at its finest. From uh, six years old all the way through the high school, we're a very close-knit community, and that's how we coach. All right, man. Congratulations on championship. All right, thank you, and thank you for what you do. Thank you. <laughs>